All right, well then it's uh, five o'clock. We could possibly extend a little bit if we wanted to get all of uh, tomorrow done. We have, what do we have left? We have the reports of the standing and ongoing BOG committees. We have the president's report. We have the executive director's report. We have the governor round table. And then we have the closing remarks of outgoing President Kyle Schichetti and passing of the gavel to the incoming president, Brian Tollison, which could go for hours. <laughs> the filibuster. So what's, what's the sentiment of the group? Shall we push on? All of those items are relatively quick items. Okay. All right. So we can finish this. Finish my term today. No other customer would say they finished the whole day early. <laughs> Is that the record, Rex? A day early? Well, that's true. And normally this would be only two days. It's too much. <laughs> yeah, but if it's scheduled for three days, then that's that's fine. Okay. Move we accept the consent calendar. We already did that. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Uh, Executive Director Nevitt, do you have an exact? I don't have a president's report. I, I think, well, maybe I do. Uh, for the president's report, we did uh, continuing our listening tour as abbreviated listening tour this year. I hope uh, uh, President elect Collison will have a more. Uh, a, you know, more robust uh, listening to her. I found them very, to be very rewarding. Uh, without exception, they were positive. Uh, they had constructive criticism, but they did it politely. Um, we had very good discussions regarding rural practice and, uh, uh, and, and keeping, keeping new recruits um, in longevity and uh, a lot of issues that uh, confront um, loca locations such as Coopville and Shelton and South Bend and, and uh, Clarkston and Spokane. Um, so the last two that we visited was Spokane. We had the courtesy of uh, Governor Grabicki's office. And thank you to Governor Grabicki for hosting us. Um, and then also listened to uh, Soton County uh, and had a very good discussion with them. So um, that was one of the more rewarding um, things that I was able to do, although many, many less than I would have otherwise wanted to, um, but it was good. It was just as rewarding or almost as rewarding as the 50 year uh, celebration that I did in August and uh, I continue to look forward to the next year's celebration, hopefully without masks and restrictions and COVID and the pan pandemic. Uh, that's basically my report. Uh, Executive Director Nevitt, I'll turn it over to you. 